Hi guys, this is Mrs. Williams. Hope you're doing well, staying safe, staying inside your house, quarantining yourself. Um, quarantining is now a verb. <laughs> um, so we did solving systems of equations by graphing last week, a review of that. And this week we're going to do substitution and elimination. So this is your substitution video. These are just the notes that I gave you earlier in the semester. Um, so you're welcome to just pull those out too, but this is just a quick reminder. They do have steps. I'm not a big step person, but um, it would help you in a situation like this where you can't just readily ask questions to me all the time. Um, so step one here is, I'm going to get my pen ready. Sorry, I thought I had it ready. Um, step one is to solve one of the equations for either of the variables. It doesn't matter which one. I like to just make it the easier of the two. And then substitute that expression that you found and put it into the other equation. Okay, so you can see these are the two equations that we started with initially. Um, this equation was chosen because the coefficients of both of the variables were 1 and y was chosen to be solved for. So this expression is what y is equivalent to. So what happened here, this, ex darn it. <laughs> this expression is equal to y. Okay, that's what y is equal to. So what step two is then, they rewrote the first equation here. The second equation, um, they rewrote it again, but instead of putting y, they put that expression that y is equivalent to. Okay, so that's how they, that's how this was done. Let me get my pen. Okay, so this expression got plugged in right there. And so then we just use the distributive property and solve like we would any multi-step uh, equation. We solve for x in this case. So we get x is equal to 2. So again, with systems of equations, we know we always put it in coordinate pair form. So the x is equal to 2. Then remember what variable you have solved for. So sometimes mistakes are made. We forget and plug like this value of 2 in for y instead. Make sure you plug it in the, for the correct variable. Actually, I don't like what they've done here for step 3. What I would do is go back to the original equation and plug in x to the original equation. Just sometimes if you use the equation that you manipulated, you may have made a mistake there. So go back to that original equation and plug in the 2 for x there. Okay, and so when you do that, you get 2 plus y equals negative 5, subtract 2 on either side, so y is negative 7. Okay, and so that's where we get that. If we did this correctly, like we talked about on Friday in the video, um, if you plug both of these solutions into both of the equations, you'll get a true statement for both of them. Okay, so let's look at this first um, system here. So quite obviously we would use the top equation because it's already been solved for y. So it's actually in slope intercept form for us. So we're gonna take that expression that y is equivalent to, y is equal to that, and we're gonna plug it in for the y in the second equation. So I'm going to rewrite that second equation, 3x plus, gee whiz, plus 2 times the quantity, because that's what y is equal to, 6x subtract 33 is equal to 9. Again, using this here, 2 to the y, again, is equivalent to this expression, and then equal to the 9. So we use our distributive property. So 3x plus 12x and then minus 66 equals 9. So 15x, I'm going to add the 66 to both sides. So 75. How many 15s are in 75? Um, there should be 5 in there, but... Let's just do our math. So if we do 5, 75. Okay. So x is equal to 5. So in coordinate pair form, you can go ahead and write that guy. So I like to highlight that and what it's equal to. So then I'm going to plug it back in to either equation. I'm going to actually, I'm going to choose this guy here. I'm going to choose the top one. I'll use red now. Go up here. And so y is going to be equal to 6 times 5, again, this here, 
subtract 33. So y is equal to 30, subtract 33, so y is equal to negative 3. Okay, so that would be my solution. So if I were to graph these guys, remember, um, the graphs would intersect at the point 5, 3. Okay, now let's get to ones that are a little bit more difficult. Let me pull this down. <laughs> Give me a second. All righty. Um, that's still straightforward, but let's go ahead and do it. So um, if we look at these two equations, I would solve this top one for x. Why would I do that? Why do you think I would do that? Think about that. Yeah, you're absolutely right. It already has a coefficient of 1, so that one's going to be an easy one to solve for. So x is equal to negative 4y, because I subtracted the 4y on either side, subtract 12. So this is the expression that I'm plugging in for x in my other equation. So negative 6 times x. We know x is equal to this, so that's going to be plugged in here. Negative 4y subtract 12. Then we have plus 5y equals, and then we have negative 15. Do our distributive property, 24y minus, I'm just kidding, plus 72 plus 5y equals negative 15. So if we combine our y's, we get 29y. And if we subtract 72 on each side, see, it goes away over here, and you get 87. Is that right? So there should be three 29's and 87, right? Right! This is negative 87. So y is equal to negative 3. So coordinate pair form, I can go ahead and put that in there. So let's go ahead and highlight that so we don't forget what variable I just solved for. So I need to make sure, since this is a y here, I need to make sure I substitute it in for the y in the other equation. So now I'll use blue, something different. So x plus, I'll just write the whole thing, plus 4y is equal to negative 12. I know that, that's the first equation. Now I'm going to plug in my solved value for y. So x plus 4 times y, which is negative 3, equals negative 12. x minus 12 equals negative 12. Add 12 to either side, x is equal to a big goose egg. So x is equal to 3. Okay, I'm just kidding, x is equal to 0. Goose egg equals 0. Sorry about that. Alrighty. Um, Pretty self-explanatory. I'm going to give you some problems now, um, but hop on during the office hours if you have questions about what we just did. All right. Thanks, guys.